All right, this is how to use your Canon scanner. First, you got to come up to the little apple up in the corner, click on it. You're going to go to System Preferences, and you got to come down to Printer and Scanner. Click on that. It's going to open this window up. It sees it already right there. You're going to click on Scan, Open Scanner, brings up this new window, and it's warming up. So, what it's done is it's detected the enclosed box. I've got it set at 1,200 dpi in color. This is a black and white photo. And in here you can, uh, you can uh, change the uh, title of it so that, that you can file them properly. This is going to be 1954. And I'm going to put it in a JPEG. I could put it in a TIFF, uh, a portable network uh, graphic. But this is going to be a JPEG because it's a photo photograph. I've got it detect enclosed box or separate items. And so we're just going to leave it there. And this is the, uh, the uh, dimensions of this specific photo. And uh, then all we got to do is hit scan. Now it's going to take a little while because um, this is going to be taking a lot of information because I've got the DPI up at 1,200 uh, because I want to get a really good clear picture of it and so now it's gonna you know do its thing it takes a while for it to do it and then I go on about my business doing something else and come back later to see what I got so we'll just let that happen and here's our photo right here Let's take a look at it so it's a little bit blurry, but we, we're going to try to fix that in post in uh, Lightroom. So that's, uh, there's one. Now I'm going to change it. I'm going to put a new, a different photo in there. So now I'm going to come over to my uh, printer scanner and I'm going to lift it up. I'm going to take that photo out and we're going to put a new one in. I'm going to set it pretty much in the same spot. Set her down. Now I've got to go back to the computer. And I'm going to bring, take my mouse, and I'm going to click Scan. And it's going to, oh, I forgot to change the name of it. <laughs> but I can cancel it. Let's cancel it for a second. And what I think I'm going to do is I'm going to make this box bigger by just pulling on the corners. This way I'm going to get that photo, because I put the photo kind of in the middle there. And then I'm also going to change this. And I'm going to make it Grand Pa Schaefer and Denise 1954. And then we're going to go ahead and scan it. Now, all the rest of the photos that I put in there will not be bigger than this 5 16 and 475. They're all going to fit in that area. So I just got to kind of get them off the top and in the middle. And they should all scan in there pretty good. So we'll wait and see this one come through. So as you can see, here I've made the box bigger. And uh, over here, you can see the dimensions of it. It's, it's shaded right now because it's in the middle of importing it. As soon as it's imported, uh, then that'll all come back into light. As you can see right now, now you can see all this. Now let's look over here and check it out. So as you, so I put this photo in there. That's Grandpa Schaefer and my sister. And from, it's not really from 1961. It's actually from 1954, but it took them that long to get it developed. And that one came up pretty clear. It's very clear, as opposed to this one, which is a little blurry. So that came pretty good. And uh, let's do one more. So we're going to leave that one there. And I'm going to go back over to the, to the, to my uh, Canon. I'm going to take that photo out of there, put it over here with the ones that we've done, and I'm going to grab this one here, which is really small. I'm going to put it right in the center there, drop her down, come back over to the computer, and uh, we're going to go ahead and scan that baby. Oop, I screwed up again. <laughs> Forgot to change the name of this. So this will be, we'll call this Grandpa Bud, because that's Bud. 
and this is going to be, I think, 1955. Okay, so this one came through. Let's take a look at it. And that came out pretty good, really. I mean, for a small photo. It's in, in pretty good shape. So that's how you do it. That's how you scan photos into your computer from your Canon TS5000 series printer scanner. If you like this video, please subscribe to my channel. Check out my other awesome videos. Price out.